Will you lose your food stamps if you win the lottery? What if you win a free computer or a gift card? At Low Income Relief, we answer these questions all the time because our readers don't exactly expect to win the actual lottery, but we do show them how to get free computers, free grants, and other things that can help improve their financial situation. So it's a legitimate concern. Are you trading your family's food money if you apply for these benefits? A while ago, one of our readers applied for a free computer. She was really excited to have the opportunity to better her education. However, during the application process, she came across a very scary disclaimer. So she reached out and she asked us what it meant. It said, be advised that if you are currently receiving assistance from one or more of these sources, TANF, SSI, SSDI, welfare, food stamps, etc., acceptance of tangible property, gifts, financial assistance, or services, additional income, may affect or terminate your current benefits. Bobby was understandably upset. In her words, it's really a shame that you have to choose between your food and a computer to better your education. And I agree. So we did some digging to figure out exactly what you can and can't win without endangering your food stamps benefits. Now, as I'm filming this, I can already tell that there are gonna be trolls all over this video. So before we begin, I just wanna let you know, I'm not here to help anybody cheat the system. I'm not here to help you get more than you're entitled to. I'm here because I don't think that anyone should have to lose their food benefits while they're trying to improve their lives. I don't think you should have to choose between a computer for your education and food stamps. I don't think you should have to choose between a gift card to buy your kids school supplies and the food stamps you need to actually feed that child. I think those are tragic decisions. And that's why we did this research because we want to make sure that you are actually improving your situation and you're not getting something in the short term that may actually harm your family long term. That's our goal here at Low Income Relief, is to help make sure that anyone who is struggling with a chronically low income has access to the benefits and the help that they need to actually improve their lives in a meaningful and lasting way. Of course, it's important to remember that just because we are very well-intentioned here at Low Income Relief, we are just researchers. We're not lawyers, we're not social workers. We're just people who do a lot of research to find you the benefits and the programs that you qualify for. So if you like the material that we present in this video, be sure to check out our website at lowincomerelief.com because we can show you how to get over 400 freebies and deals with your food stamps card. We can show you how to get $5 a month internet and all sorts of other benefits that may help you. In order to understand if you will lose your food stamps for winning the lottery, a gift card, or a free computer, you need to understand how your food stamps award is determined. There are two factors involved here. One is your income and another is your resources. Your income includes reasonably predictable money that comes into your household. This could be through wages, disability benefits, things of that nature that provide you money on a consistent basis. Resources, on the other hand, are assets that you own that can be easily and quickly converted into cash. These things might include checking and savings accounts, stocks, mutual funds, those sort of things that can be easily converted into cash that you could use. Usually, in most states, your primary residence, your primary vehicle, and your retirement accounts will not count towards your assets because those are things that you generally need to survive. Resources affect your eligibility for food stamps, but not necessarily your ongoing monthly award. That's why the lottery matters. Most lottery winners opt to receive their awards in one lump sum payment, which means they get the money all at once. That will definitely put you over the resource limit for food stamps. So you will not be able to continue receiving food stamps while you have that resource available to you. However, winning the lottery does not permanently ban you from receiving food stamps. So if that money eventually disappears and you don't have that resource available to you anymore, you will be able to reapply in the future. Of course, winning a free computer is totally different than winning the lottery. It's a much smaller value item and it's not easily exchanged for cash. In most cases, winning household goods like this will not affect your eligibility for food stamps at all. However, that begs the question, why did that company put that scary disclaimer in there in the first place? In my experience, 
it's because the agency doesn't want to run the risk that you do lose your eligibility and that you're surprised or blame them. They don't want to get in any legal trouble. And just like us, they're not lawyers. They're not social workers. They don't know the ins and outs of the programs. And these laws do change frequently. It's in their best interest as an organization to just throw that out there and make you aware of the potential so that they don't suffer any fallback later. This information is accurate as of the publication date, but laws do change and evolve, and you will want to check lowincomerelief.com for the most up-to-date information. We keep all of our articles updated constantly, but that's much harder to do on YouTube in these videos. We can't just pop in and edit a 10 second clip to make sure that it's accurate. So just to be on the safe side, go ahead and click over to lowincomerelief.com and make sure that this video hasn't become outdated. I would hate to give any of you false information. Now, just to reiterate, in Bobby's case, the computer was fine. It was a relatively minor, low value household good. However, if you win a bigger ticket item, like a boat or a second home, that may be something that puts you over the asset limits because those aren't small, they're relatively high value, and that may be calculated differently. So please just be aware of that. So far, this has been relatively straightforward. If you win the lottery, you're probably going to lose your food stamps. If you win something like a computer, you're probably fine. If you win a second house, that's going to be complicated. But what if you win a gift card? A lot of the agencies we report on provide gift cards to assist with groceries or school supplies or Christmas gifts. Some of the other things that we talk about, like Ibotta, that can give you gift cards just for using their app. How will those affect your food stamps award? That is a very good question, and it has a very complicated answer. The USDA has issued guidelines on three different ways that gift cards can be handled when it comes to food stamps. In some cases, it counts as an income. In some cases, it counts as a resource. But to break all of that down in detail in this video would be relatively complicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and direct you over to our website where we have all of that written up in detail and I would be happy to answer any of your specific questions on our platform. I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this video. I hope it's been helpful to you and if you have any other food stamps related questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Have a great day.